Ultimate Fact presents 15 Theories That Prove Time Travel Actually Exists. Before we begin, click that like button to inspire us. Moreover, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell to be inspired by this type of ultimate fact. According to scientists, the concept of time travel is possible, and according to Einstein's theory of relativity, a person inside a spaceship traveling at the speed of light would age much slower than his twin at home. So in this video, we will hunt for some substantial evidence of a time machine. Time Traveling Mummy In April 2016, a shocking discovery of the first complete turkey burial in Central Asia revealed an 1,100-year-old mummy wearing the shoes that look very much like a pair of Adidas sneakers. If you can see, she's wearing modern jeans too. In addition, at the time of death, this poor girl was between 30 and 40 years old. By judging the evidence of severe trauma present on her skull, theorists believe that she was an extremely unfortunate time traveler. The Hipster In November 1941, Fork Bridge in Gold Bridge, British Columbia had reopened after a flood. One photo from the day that remains famous today, there is a guy wearing sunglasses, sporting a modern haircut and wearing clothes like they should be from the 70s or 80s. Plus, he has a camera in his hand. The photo was proven to be undoctored. People only had one explanation, time travel. Ancient Evidence Just look at this famous hieroglyphic panel found in a stone slab supporting the ceiling of the ancient Egyptian temple of Seti. The writings have become known as the helicopter hieroglyphs among conspiracy circles. It bears symbols resembling to a helicopter, spaceship fighter jet plane, and a tank. How could it be possible to depict all these four modern vehicles on a single panel? In fact, these hieroglyphic panels were made three to 5,000 years ago when man had no idea about these modern day vehicles. Evidence from Old Movie In 1908, a woman time traveler was seen in a famous clip from the Hollywood premiere of Charlie Chaplin's movie at the circus at Grauman's Chinese Theater. You can see a woman dressed in a black hat seems to be hiding most of her face and holding something to her ear that was like one of today's mobile phones. Well, we all know that the first mobile phone was invented in 1973, so how she got a cell phone before its invention, according to conspiracy, she might be a time traveler from the future, attempting to see famous Charlie Chaplin in person. Sculpture of Laptop in 100 BC, or simply 2,000 years ago, an unknown artist from Greece had created this sculpture which depicts a modern-day laptop. Moreover, a surprised and curious woman is adjusting the screen able to look at it. Undoubtedly, this is a laptop because it also has two USB ports. Time Traveling Boxing Fan A clip from a Mike Tyson 1995 boxing match has become one of the most controversial clips on the internet. In this clip, you can see our suspect time traveler standing in the front row and is using a smartphone to record Mike Tyson. We all know that the first cell phone cameras were not sold until the year 2000. If you have a keen eye for detail, you will realize that the device is vertical and vertical photo is almost exclusive to the mobile phone or smartphone. 18th Century CD There's a pretty compelling case that Joseph Smith may have obtained compact disc back in the 1800s. Remember the story of how an angel showed Smith where to find the gold plates? There's a theory that they were actually CDs. In this painting Smith showing the plates to eight people, there's something bizarre. Look at the box that Smith is holding. That looks a lot like a CD case. According to some, there are references to CDs in the actual Book of Mormon. He even mentions that the case has a hinge like a pair of spectacles, and that the plates were two stones and silver bows. And we know that CDs are silver. The Chrono Visor The Chrono Visor is a device that was used by the Vatican to look into the past as well as the future. It is supposedly one of the best kept secrets in the world, but we're talking about this to you right now, so maybe the secret isn't that well protected. In 1972, a newspaper in Italy released a story that talked about how there was a machine in vain that could photograph the past. The device, which we know as the Chrono Visor, was invented by an Italian physicist turned priest named Father Pellegrino Maria Ornetti. Montauk Project The Montauk Project was supposedly an experiment in time travel and psychological warfare that was headed by the United States government. There was apparently an incident in 1983 which jumped back to the 1940s. 
Apparently, Nikola Tesla figured out how to make the USS Eldridge disappear. Two brothers, Edward and Duncan Cameron, were on board the vessel and jumped off and they ended up in Montauk in 1983. Apparently, when Tesla made the ship disappear, he opened up a wormhole that stuck the ship into the future. Ancient Man-Made Tools Inside this piece of rock appears to be a man-made object that looks like a 2 centimeter long industrial screw discovered in 2009 in Russia. After passing X-ray through, the rock researchers have found another hidden screw inside the stone. It is said to be a 300 million year old aluminum gear. Moreover, in 1936, two hikers in Texas discovered a fossil hammer, which is 100 to 115 million years old. However, the hammerhead was built with the iron purity, which is only achievable by using modern day technology. 17th Century Astronaut We all know that Soviet pilot Yuri Gagarin was the first human being to travel to outer space in April of 1961. So then why is there a figure that clearly looks like an astronaut carved into the stone of a 16th century cathedral located in its nave? Here you see a sculpture of an astronaut on one of the pillars inside the cathedral. It was constructed between the 16th and 18th centuries. It looks exactly like modern versions of a spacesuit. Ancient iPhone Everyone knows that the first iPhone was invented in 2007. But CEO of Apple, Tim Cook, says he discovered an iPhone in a 350-year-old painting. Peter Hughes created this painting in 1607. In the portrait, a woman is holding an object which appears to be a smartphone. Also, another painting has been discovered which supposedly to be created by Umberto Romano in 1937. This painting is approximately 80 years old and it depicts a Native American appears to be staring at an iPhone. He seems to gaze into the handheld device which looks exactly like an iPhone. Wristwatch 2008 The 400-year-old tomb of Sik Wing was discovered in the Shangzi County of China. A tiny piece of golden metal was discovered from the centuries-old dirt, which was in the shape of what appeared to be a wristwatch. Surprisingly, the word Swiss was engraved on the back of the wristwatch, and its time was frozen at 10.06. How was it possible that a tomb seal for 400 years had come to hold an artifact that could only have been created after the establishment of present-day Switzerland? Project Pegasus Andrew Basiago, an attorney based in Seattle, Washington, claims that he was part of a secret U.S. government program called Project Pegasus, which experimented with teleportation and time travel. One of Basagio's proof that he was a kid time traveler is a photo of Lincoln in Pennsylvania giving his famous Gettysburg Address. If you look closely, you'll see a kid wearing oversized clothes from the time period with a haircut from the 1970s. He claims that he visited Gettysburg through a plasma confinement chamber in New Jersey. Apparently, he was also present at Ford's Theater that night Lincoln was shot and visited several times and said the shot was terrible to hear. If you could travel anywhere in time, where would you go? Tell us in the comments. James Leninger James was born in 1998, and at the age of two he pointed to a picture of Iwo Jima and told his shocked parents that this is where his plane had been shot down. They did some research and found that only one plane was shot down over Iwo Jima during the Second World War, and it was flown by American pilot Lieutenant James Houston Jr. His parents eventually tracked down members of Lieutenant Houston's crew, now elderly men, and these veterans confirmed that the things James Leninger said were 100% true and frighteningly accurate. Ryan a boy from the Midwest, Ryan began having terrible nightmares at the age of four. When he turned five, he told his mother Cindy that he used to be someone else and began begging her to take him home to Hollywood. He remembered detailed meetings with people such as Rita Hayworth and even remembered that the street he lived on had the word rock in it. Cindy would check books at her local library and there they found a picture of the men that Ryan said he had once been with. Desperate need of help, Cindy hired a psychiatrist who began to research Ryan's case. After two weeks, they found out that the man in the photo was a movie actor called Marty Martin. All the details Ryan had given about his past life matched up. PM PM was born 12 years after the death of his half-brother. His half-brother had died of neuroblastoma at the age of two. He had suffered a pathological fracture of his left tibia and received a biopsy of a nodule on his scalp just above his right ear and was given chemo through a central line in his right external juggler vein. PM also had neuroblastoma. 
which left him practically blind in his left eye, which was strange as his brother had been entirely blind in his left eye when he had died. Furthermore, PM began to speak to his mother about the previous family home and described it in great detail. That's all for now. Like always, if you enjoyed it, be sure to give us a big thumbs up and leave us some love in the comments section. To keep up to date with all of our awesome videos, be sure to hit subscribe and turn your notifications on to never miss a thing. Until next time, do take good care of yourself.